This is the Build Budget Construction Planner template. This is available in Google Sheets and Excel. It's a spreadsheet template that can track all of your renovation and construction costs, as well as any additional fees for consultants such as architects or designers. It also can track your contacts and inf project information and every item that you spec within your project. So we'll just go through and show you what's inside. The, the start, you get some general spreadsheet guidance just to help you get set up. And if you come into any difficulty with anything, that will tell you how to use each of the different tabs. You have a project cost summary. This is going to give you a summary of each of the areas within the house, as well as a labor summary and your general project costs as well. You're able to track budget and actual costs throughout. You've got a tab for drop downs. This is an area that you just fill in information and then you can select it throughout the spreadsheet the project dashboard. So this is bringing together every piece of information from the entire spreadsheet. It brings it into categories and laborers and rooms, and then giving you a full summary up the top. It provides graphical representation of your costs with budget versus actual costs throughout and you are able to change the currency of the project so just typing in here will change the currency everywhere so it's suitable for anyone you can also change the units from imperial to metric for the calculators the next page is the context page this just goes through you can track every person or consultant stakeholder included in your project so just track all their contact information there so it's all in one place same with the project information, you can type in your notes, you can attach links to files, folders, where particular documents are, and for every piece of information. I've included general information here, so for the easements as well as giving you some extra lines for extra information that you might want to track for your particular project. The next is the planner tab. This is a Gantt chart that can help you track all the tasks involved in your project. Again, there are some typical tasks for each phase already put in for you, as well as some extra rows for extra tasks that you need to do. So you can track the start and duration of a particular task, and it will fill it out on the Gantt chart for you. The product options tab acts as a digital notebook for looking at different options for different products. If you're looking at a few different toilet options, you can track specific dimensions between them and then select a, a final one to go with. The works by room and works by trade tabs, they work together. So you can itemize your works that need to be done per room on here, attach a trade to it, track the purchasing of it, and then put a budget allowed for that labor. And then once you've got a quote back from the trade, you can insert the receive quote that you've got for that particular item. So the way this works is you track all your tasks for each room in here, and then it will automatically create a list for each trade. So when you're ready to send a bid out to your carpenter, you can just export the carpenter section here. And that means the carpenter doesn't need to look through this whole scope of here and work out which one is for him. He just needs to look at his section and he can put a quote against each item here. And then getting onto the schedules, we've got the general project costs. So these are your fees for professional consultants, your permits, any site prep costs you have such as site protection or demo. You've got framing, excavation costs here. So you can see here that you put a budget price and an actual price and it will calculate the totals for you. You can track who needs to organize it or order a particular project. And you can also track the status of that particular item. And that continues on in the same vein for the rooms. So this is 
uh, an example of the room. So we've got the kitchen here. At the top, it's giving you a summary of your kitchen, your costs for each category. Here, we've got the room calculator. So simply filling in the room dimensions here, either feet for imperial or meters for metric. So this will change depending on your selection on the dashboard, filling in all this information, and then it will spit out how much paint you need, how many tiles you need for this particular room. And then we've got the typical categories already set up for you. So the plumbing, appliances, furniture, accessories, etc. for this kitchen, and then they differ slightly for each room as they needed. So inside each spec item, you've got a space for the quantity, the budget unit price, the total cost will automatically calculate and the actual price. And then again, you've got status options, installation drop downs to choose from, and then a space for any comments on that particular item as well. So all the information that you put down here is brought up into the summary up here giving you a total budget and a total actual price for this room. And then you've got a visual graphs and pie charts for this room as well, showing you where the money is being spent. And that goes the same for every room in the project. So we've got the kitchen, pantry, laundry, and mudroom. And then we've got five toilet bathrooms five bedrooms, living and dining room and office. And then we've got even got external spaces. So we've got three external spaces for patio or terraces. And then we've got some pre-made miscellaneous rooms that you can rename into a different room if you've got some extra rooms in there. So you don't need to create your own tabs for that. They're already there. So this gives you a full summary of what is inside the template and what it can do and what it can achieve for your project.